Hey everyone, uh, my name's Andy. My channel's Finding Value. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, if you've been here for a while, please leave some comments. Click the thumbs up button to help me out. Uh, I, you know, I, I got a lot of hardcore Bitcoin uh, people, so I'm, I'm going to continue to give my opinion. Um, this might be, you know, it's it's Bitcoin versus gold, and this is obviously just my opinion. All right, I'm not saying that Bitcoin's necessarily bad uh, if you own it, but I'll give you my opinion about it. <laughs> so we'll jump in here. It's a very uh, heated debate, so I I figured, hey, I'll step my put my foot in this. <laughs> so Bitcoin versus gold. Uh, for starters, I am not a gold bug by any means. Uh, what I am is a person who looks for things that can store value. And I like those things in the world that are the most undervalued in society to store my wealth. So valuations over time change with perception and the needs and wants based on society at that time. Uh, I like precious metals right now because they are stores of value proven over history. And they are all very cheap in relationship to everything else in the world right now. We are entering a commodities bull market uh, and gold, silver, copper, all these things outperform during commodity bull markets. That's why I'm such a bull on precious metals, just in general. So gold, I'm gonna go over gold and the, the traits that gold has. Uh, one, it's created by nature. Some people call it God's money. Uh, humans went through an entire process to select the best currency from Mother Nature. And what humans did is they selected gold. That was the best. Gold created some of the largest economies in history and has been a store of value over this time and into the future. And what it did is it, it basically stabilized trades, you know, for trading and allowed trade to happen in the most economical way and created massive economies and wealth. Countries hold it as a reserve uh, and considered a tier one asset, which means they can, they can lend against it and whatnot. That is it, that, that is the reserves, gold. Uh, and it is also considered final payment. It is not someone else's debt or liability. Uh, and you can acquire gold, obviously very easily, anonymously. I don't have to tell anyone my name. I can go in there, buy it with cash. No one knows I own it. It is very private investment, which I love about it. Next, I'm going to go into Bitcoin. People say they can easily transact it, but I'm going to say, no, not really. It's slow. It eats a whole ton of energy and electricity. It doesn't have a track record. It's difficult to obtain. And what I mean by that is I don't have an account to, to transact Bitcoin. It's very difficult for me to obtain Bitcoin. It has no backing or intrinsic value at all. Zero. Just like every other man-made currency, all those currencies have gone to zero. I don't see why Bitcoin would be the exception to the rule. My guess is it's going to go to zero. And also, one thing I absolutely hate about cryptocurrencies is setting up an account requires a whole bunch of information. Why? Why do they have to know all this information, social security number, uh, driver's license, and all this other BS? Why? And I'll be honest, I was not willing to share my information to obtain an account. I, I'm rejecting cryptocurrencies because of that reason. It is created by man and all man-made uh, currencies have failed in history. And the worst thing, this is the worst, this is the worst thing to say for anything is this time is different. My question is, well, why is this time different? Because it's not, it's not different. It's going to go to zero. All these cryptocurrencies are going to go to zero because of all those things I just listed. Now, who would adopt Bitcoin? I'm going to tell you this. Many people are going to reject Bitcoin. And they're going to search for something better. Bitcoin is an energy nightmare for society. And in some societies, it is an energy nightmare. They're having trouble with electricity and power grids. 
The best thing we could do is shut it down for energy conservation. And I'm being honest here. It's sucking so much electricity and energy, it is a waste. It requires copious amounts of energy to run the network and to do all these computations for that network. Eventually, all Bitcoin will be, quote, lost. And what does that mean? It says people die. Where does that Bitcoin go that's in their wallet? How do people know how to access it? How do people know to get it from a wallet? If, if some person had it in there, how would you know if they never said anything? What if your grandparents had it and they didn't even know? They just, like their, their, their son or somebody bought it for them and they just, like, I don't know what the hell is going on. Why the hell does everyone, uh, why, why does everything about Bitcoin mimic real money? and the transactions of other currencies in real life. Why, why do they call it a wallet? Why do they do all these things? It, it just seems like a big scheme. Doesn't seem like it's an original, well-built system because it's not. At least that's my opinion. And I think naturally with people dying and whatnot, it will literally go away. You're, you're not, all of the Bitcoin will, will eventually be stuck somewhere. And in my opinion, Bitcoin is a Ponzi scheme. It requires more and more people to adopt it at ever and ever greater uh, prices for this thing to be held up and propped up. The reason I am so scared of it is there is no value that backs this. It is 100% built on more people buying it at higher prices. And it does not have a backing of, of, of anything. You could say that's its strength, but I'm gonna say that's its weakness. And the system itself is not very good to use. It's not very easy. I can't just swipe a card and be gone. It, it, it requires too much right now. And I don't think Bitcoin's gonna be the one that ultimately ends up the, the leader. It's leading right now in a crappy technology, I think. Wait until Hashgraph or some of these other things that come down that require a fraction of the energy. Just blow this out of the water. And we'll, go, and we'll move on to something else. Technology is going to get better and it's going to blow this thing out of the water, I think. There's nothing unique about this particular one, in my opinion. Conclusion here is, is, is gold is made by nature. Bitcoin and all other alternative currencies are man-made. And all man-made things go to zero. Uh, so... <laughs> Gold has it. It's, it's stood the test of time. That's what humans have selected and has a, a long track record of building all of these things uh, for humans. The alt currencies have not. And there's, there's, you can make a billion different alternative currencies. There's no limit to it. You just continue to pile them on. And whoever makes them are, is going to be the benefactor of it. And why is this time different? Every bubble starts with this question. If you answer this question, you are admitting it to being in a bubble. You're saying, oh, well, this time's different. No, it's not. It is not, guys. That is the most dangerous question. It really is. This time's different. That's all bubbles started like that. Every single one. So, in the comments section, why is this time different? You can put all you want because it's not different. I'm just challenging everyone, and if you're thinking about piling in a bunch of money into Bitcoin, I wouldn't do it. That's me. I'm going to put my hard-earned money or money made in the market, wherever I made it, I'm going to pile it somewhere else. I'm going to put it into value-creating businesses uh, or th companies that have value in the ground, which is minerals. That's where I'm putting my money. I think it's a much lower-risk bet. It's far less volatile, and we're at the right time, at the right place, in the right minerals. It's, it's, it's all coming together for that. Bitcoin, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to pass. If you like this content, please subscribe, click the thumbs up button, and my channel is Finding Value. Thank you.